Hello and, and welcome everyone. We're here on behalf of the Hungry for Justice Coalition. We have our first speaker, Mr. Halil Meek, that is K-H-A-I-L-L-M-E-E-K, -E -E and he's our spokesperson, and he is going to be speaking to us today uh, about the Holy Land Foundation trial. I want to thank you for coming today. The purpose of this press conference is for the Hungry for Justice Coalition to speak uh, about the uh, current election and our reaction to it in light of the trial. Uh, the Holy Land Foundation, as we all know, are in the closing arguments of a case that we have spent the last two years here in Dallas uh, defending. And we think that uh, with the election of Barack Obama, <laughs> that the, uh, uh, the tone and the attitude of the Bush administration has been rejected. And that is, we see that a new opportunity for Americans to restore justice, to depoliticize the democratic process in the Department of Justice, and that trials like this, where we are putting uh, families and communities in, in turmoil for political reasons, are unjust. And we look forward to restoring freedom in America. We look forward to restoring the rule of law and the American system of justice. We're encouraged that the American people rejected the lies and propaganda espoused by the Bush administration to promote its agenda, agenda, and we are encouraged. We want today to speak to the American people about the issues that are very relevant in light of the new election and the Bush administration and the new administration. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Lon Burnham. Good afternoon. I'm Lon Burnham. I'm both a state representative from Fort Worth, where I'm proud to represent tens of thousands of immigrant people, and I'm here today as the director of the Dallas Peace Center. Unfortunately, we have had many press conferences on this sidewalk because of the continuing abuses. I just want to reiterate what we said two months ago, a long two months ago, at the beginning of this trial, trial which I call the double jeopardy trial, because it's the second time we've been put through this process. We have faith in our system of justice, but we do not have faith in the Bush Justice Department. Right. We're here today to remind people that like in the original trial, we've seen the prosecution use unconstitutional rules of evidence, such as unsigned and undocumented, undated documents with no chain of custody, and secret foreign expert witnesses whose authority and credibility had to be accepted without question. This is abuse of power and abuse of justice. This trial can only end with a non-guilty verdict because of the abuses of the Constitution. We're almost certain that there will be an end of this because there will be a new Justice Department and we feel like one that we can count on to defend the basic constitutional rights of all people in this country. Right. But we call today for the Bush Justice Department to end their persecution of these people. My name is Thomas Muhammad, that's spelled T-H-O-M-A-S. Last name is M-U-H-A-M-M-A-D. I am a longtime friend of these families who are on trial here. For nearly 25 years, I've known these families. These families are the most pro-American families you can find in our community. So we must understand that there is, this is not about parties. This is about justice regardless of what party you belong to. Justice is important for us to have here today. That's right. We need to bring a non-guilty verdict on these families exactly. because these are human beings. It is important to also note that anytime individuals who are involved in these type of cases are found not guilty, some of them still linger in prison because they have no place to go to because of immigration status. It is unfair what is happening to the Palestinian people. We must end this now. And we would hope that President-elect Barack Obama starts a new chapter. That's right. He has a mandate now. There is no reason to go back to the past. He does not need to prove that he is not a Muslim by attacking Muslims. That's he right. needs to bring justice forward. It is important that that happens. Thank you for being here today. Oh my, <laughs> my name is Richard Zambrano. I'm here as a friend of the Muslim community and also as an official of LULAC. I am the national chairman of the LULAC Civil Rights Commission and also of the state. I was very privileged when I was working for the Justice Department's Community Relations Service 
I'm making a lot of friends in the Muslim community. I'm working with them at the Holy Land Foundation over there in Richardson, in Irvine, and in Arlington, where we would come together to talk about racial profiling, to talk about law enforcement, and sometimes the disparity in treatment. We in LULAC, and you have a LULAC official that's going to speak right behind me, more specifically in terms of the position that LULAC has taken. I can only tell you that people are innocent until proven guilty, and I'm hoping that the people are proven innocent because I think that what the Muslim community does is great, and sometimes we're persecuted. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gloria Levario. Uh, I am with LULAC Council 4782 here in Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm here to, uh, on behalf of LULAC, to take a stance uh, in this case. We wholeheartedly support uh, the Hungry for Justice Coalition. And as a member of LULAC, and as a member of the United States of America, when our fellow man, woman, or a child is in need, as Americans, we always reach out and lend a helping hand. So providing food and clothing for orphans and hungry children is what we do as members of the United States of America. We do this regardless of where these children or where these orphans live. We don't stop and ask, where do you live? Where are you from? Before providing for the hungry. So this begs the question, why are these men on trial? Is this really the America you know and love? We have an opportunity to lead by example, not just by word. We have an opportunity to restore habeas corpus. We have an opportunity to end a war, not just the war in Iraq, but the war on wars, the cultural war, the racial wars, the religious wars. There is now hope for eliminating the false choice between the liberties we cherish and the security we demand. There is hope for having security without undermining our Constitution and our freedom. This means there is now hope for change within our judicial system. No more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more ignoring the law when it is convenient to do so. Right. That is not who we are as Americans. Exactly. There is now hope to, pro to prove that the Constitution does work. There is now hope to prove that the law is not subject to whims of stubborn rulers, but more importantly, that justice is not arbitrary. There is hope. Thank you. Thank you. Real quick, my name is Hadi Jawad, H-A-D-I-J-A-W-A-D. My affiliation is the Dallas Peace Center. I'm standing here before you as an American citizen, as a Muslim who's proud of his country, but very distressed by what I see in this federal court. Exactly. The Bush Justice Department, along with the Bush presidency, has been thoroughly discredited and repudiated and rejected by the American public. We have seen that in the last elections, and we're looking forward to a new paradigm in which the rights of the minorities, the rights of the weak, the rights of those who are the, the weakest members of our society, which happens to be American Muslims at this time, are preserved. It does not take a genius to figure out that the rich and the powerful do not need protection. It's the weak who need protection. I've personally uh, been a part of this trial for the last two years. I've listened to everything the prosecution has given the jury to consider. And at no point at any time during this trial has anyone ever accused these defendants of any violent act or any act of terror in the sense of hurting or harming anyone. The, go the government's case is to say that these people fed and clothed and sheltered Palestinian children with bad intentions. They delivered the aid, the people took it, they benefited from it, and that somehow in that process, because they may have had a bad intention in the government's eyes, that it became a criminal act. And this is not justice. This is not the America that we stand for. We stand for helping those in need regardless of what it is that they believe or why they believe it. So this country needs to stand behind this community and these people to show that justice for all means everyone.